The news of a very wet year is all over the world now. We have now the floods in the United States of America, we have in Europe, and this is now in France. In southern France, we have this rain coming down. First, it looks as if it's normal, although it should not be normal because we have a sewage system. Nothing should be visible, no water should be visible running on the street in France. We have a very good system of the sewage there. And yet, this is a flood. The sewage could not cope with all that water. And you can see the cars are being carried like big, huge boulders. They're empty, practically easier than a boulder. Density is less. Most of it is inside it is water, is air, sorry. And uh, what we see now is that these areas, previously, no history of a heavy rain or flooding like that. And yet, we see this. Historically, probably 200, 300 years we didn't have that much flood or is not written in our in our records but there are maps for the actual flood risk in different areas of france southern france is prone to the to this kind of conditions mainly because it has a very steep slopes in the you know central massif and the alps and the pyrenees mountains all create fast uh, flash floods and this is the area the blue line shows where it is more likely to have. We have similar thing in the Spain, partly bordering the Pyrenees mountain, and also all those mountains um, in the Spain and Portugal, creating all this, you know, excess water coming down, where the people actually should not be there. They should not build the structures on the way of the flood. But they have done it because they don't remember any, any flood in their memory. And a heavy rain comes. This is one of the wettest years I remember. El Nino comes to our mind. In, in Australia, we have drought, we have here flood. And this is from the Indonesia, as you can see here. In Indonesia, this is the nickel center of it, in Moloka. As you can see, this is all the mining towns getting damaged. France, Europe, Asia, and America are flooded.